channel and welcome to today's video in today's video i am going to share a homemade remedy that you can try on your skin to tighten and firm the skin if you find that you have wrinkles on the skin if you find that your skin is looking a little dull if you're looking to tighten the skin to give it a more youthful glow a more youthful appearance then you may need to try this recipe in this recipe i'm using amazing ingredients that are known to help the skin to look younger and fresher radiant and glowing so if you're looking for an homemade remedy that is loaded with the essential nutrients for your skin i'm going to share the recipe with you right now and then i'm going to show you how best to use it on your Our skin first ingredient is a tomato and we're using the tomato for its vitamin c properties tomato will help to lighten brighten the skin clear the skin of hyperpigmentation it also contains lycopene which makes it an amazing ingredient to use on the skin so I'm going to be using a half of a medium plum tomato. You can use whatever kind of tomato you have. The first thing I'm going to do with the tomato, I'm going to chop it in small pieces for easier blending. Once this is done, we're going to add it to the blender. We're going to blend. Do not add water. Just blend as is. My next ingredient is oatmeal and oatmeal will have to get rid of excess oil from the skin. What I'm going to do with the oatmeal, I'm going to blend it to a powder. So I'm going to end in about a quarter cup of oatmeal, place it in the blender and blend to a powder. And now let's move on. So here we have our tomato puree and we also have our blended oatmeal and now we're going to put this together with a few other ingredients so continue watching now our next ingredient is milk milk contain lactic acid which will help to get rid of spots blemishes clean the pores out brighten the skin and have the skin looking younger and clearer i'm going to be using one tablespoon of the milk you can choose to use almond milk or soy milk if you do not have milk so i'm reaching for our tomato puree and i'm using one tablespoon of the tomato puree pouring this in i'm gonna blend the milk and the tomato puree together blend well Once this is done, I'm going to reach for some aloe vera gel. For this recipe, if you have fresh aloe vera, it's best. However, if not, go ahead and use your store-bought aloe vera gel. For our aloe vera gel, I'm using about a teaspoon of the aloe vera gel, pouring this in. And now we are mixing aloe vera gel, tomato, and milk together. Now, if you have dry skin, you can add a little bit of a coconut oil or olive oil or almond oil to this recipe. As a matter of fact, I'm going to add about a half a teaspoon of the grapeseed oil. Use any of your favorite oil or you can even add some honey instead of the oil and whisk this in. So once you totally blend your tomato, milk, aloe vera gel, and oil together we're gonna reach for our oatmeal so we're gonna start out with one tablespoon of the oatmeal and we're gonna mix this in make sure to get rid of any lumps and then we're gonna use another tablespoon making that a total of two tablespoons of oatmeal you want this to be very, very thick. You do not want it to be watery. However, the oatmeal is very absorbing. So it's going to absorb all the liquid. So mix and mix well. And take a look. This is it. This is the consistency that you want. And this is what you're going to use on your face. Now, when it comes on to this facial mask, you can use it to do double duty because you can exfoliate your skin with it and you can wear it as a facial mask. So I'm gonna go on the other side and show you how to use this on your skin for best results. So don't click off 
wait for the demonstration. So here we have our facial mask and always stir this before you apply it on the skin. Now I like to apply this in clean skin and you want to be generous with this mask. So dig in, you know, you can use a brush, but trust me, your hands do a better application. And then you just apply it on your face in upward strokes. It's have a very pleasant fragrant. Mmm. Feel good on the skin. Don't forget the jawline. You can also take this down on the neck and decollete. Cover those upper lips with your wrinkles. And if you have a lot of blackhead on your nose, make sure to cover it. Do not let this one get in your eyes. Completely cover your face. Ooh, I love this mask. Mmm. Hmm. hmm. Amazing, really amazing. Now, once I do that, sometimes I like to just give it a little rub like this. Uh huh. Yeah, a little exfoliating going on. And then I dip back in and lather it up again. Oh my goodness, so nice, so nice, so nice. All right. Now, once this is done, remember, avoid the eyes. Now, once this is done, ooh, mm -hmm. you're going to let it sit on your skin. And I need a little bit more right here, okay? So, once this is done, you're going to let it sit on your skin. About 30 minutes or so to get the job done. And after that, you're just going to rinse off, preferably with room temperature water. Pat dry the skin and apply your favorite skincare products. Guess what? This is good to use at least two to three times a week. However, we're using all natural ingredients, to make, which makes it safe to use on your skin on a daily if you wish. So go ahead and use it up before you know it. You're on your way to a more youthful looking skin. Oh, yes. So I'm going to just chill with mine for a few and then I'm going to rinse off. And I suggest you do the same. Make it, use it, sit with it, relax with it and watch your skin transform to a more younger look. Mm -hmm.